for this project, I want to use this napkin and I am going to use these uh, wood, uh, just wood planks from the Dollar Tree. Um, and what I want to do is make a little box out of this. But I, I mean, it's a little challenging because the like these are not, uh, they're not straight. So you, maybe this one's a little better. I'll play around with it. I'm going to use just regular glue. To, I do have more glue, but uh, this glues really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna start gluing, and then once I have it glued. I'll, and one of them is going to be a lid. So once I have it glued, I'll be right back. And all I, I'm doing is putting glue on the edge here and gluing it to the... And I will have to cut uh, from this an edge from one of the from one of the wood thingies. I'll have to cut an edge. So I will start gluing and then I'll be right back. So I finished gluing the box and uh, these pieces aren't very, um, they're a little bit warped as you can see here, it's kind of buckled a little bit. I glued it down uh, and then I taped it, but it still kind of moves on me, I probably times would have been a little bit better, but um, it's, it's about, um, let's see three inches deep. Um, I have no idea what um, the box is for, but, and it's going to have a lid, but um, I'm probably going to hinge it and uh, I'm going to make sure I hinge it the right way. But, um, put these um, little dominoes, I cut them in half, and I just put them there so I could hold it in place for me a little bit uh, because I am going to Mod Podge um, this napkin to the top and the sides. Um, the bottom I'll probably paint, although it looks so uh, Cut it off. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut here so that um I can work with it a little bit more easily. But I need my glasses because I cannot see. Then I have a gel medium here, and I'm just gonna use one of these cheaper little brushes. Hopefully it works. able to cut the sides with a little hacksaw I bought from uh, the Dollar Tree. So that was not that hard. And I had already removed the flies so it's ready to go. And I'm not going to paint the box because the napkin actually has like ivory to it. So the natural color I think will work. But um if I need any uh, see I want, I want I do want the Paris to be mostly on here and the Eiffel Tower. Uh, where do you need a spine if it's not? Look pretty cool. So I'm gonna go 
ahead and start doing. Uh, let's see how this goes. <sighs> I could open it and I need to invest in English because ouch the mop punch. <laughs> there it is. Finally. I need to bring up thingy of Vaseline up here. Um, a bowl and then I'll um, just exact when I cut it. See what you That's why I don't like these brushes. continue to do this and I will be back when I have it all glued down. Okay. So it's all covered with a napkin now. Now I just need to sand off, cut off, and uh, here in the back uh, I need to cut this part off because it, uh, I just did it over the seam. So, um, I ran my, uh, what you want to call it, knife, sacco knife, through where You could barely see the indent. That's what I'm cutting. Of course, being so close to the camera, it's a little hard. But um. Uh, This is what it looks like with uh, all the edges of the napkins taken off. We'll do it this way. Um, here, you there's a seam, but um, it's okay at the bottom. And here, we need to do the sides. Go ahead and uh, paint the rest of the box pink. Well, 
this is going to have a napkin, but the inside and the raw edges here, I'm going to paint, not this, this has napkin, but like these don't have napkin. So I'm going to paint these pink, and then I'm going to add a hinge to the box, and then I'll do a layer of uh, the gel medium over the box. And, just be a little storage box or something. I don't even know if I, I think I do want to paint the pink. I'm like debating whether or not I want to paint the pink, but I think I will. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and what am I gonna do? I have and yeah, they're not gonna be perfect. some hinges and I have a little screwdriver so I would have to glue them and then um, later on I put the See how uh, it's a uh, warp here. Really much we could do about it. This is my finished uh, box that I made. Um, I just uh, used uh, the wood planks to make the box. I cut the, the, the sides. I covered it with a napkin. I added some hinges. And then I added some wood 
feet, as legs. And the last thing I did is add um, texture paste uh, with a stencil on the sides as well. That's it, very simple. Um, on the inside, I left it uh, uh, natural, a natural color. Uh, I don't want to open it yet because the hinges, I've been having a lot of trouble with the hinges gluing. So I want to let them dry overnight before I open it again. Because uh, every time I try to open it to see if it's dry, they, they um, undo. This is my project. Thank you so much for stopping by. Love and blessings to you always. Bye-bye.